Hi there, Ollie here again from White Gates in Murfield. We've got another lovely property today for you. Uh, this is the fifth one that I've sold recently on Kiln Avenue in Murfield, and they really do fly. The last one was the first viewer, uh, and it took all of about 24 hours to shift. Very popular location. Little caveat on all this, there's not a mass exodus going on on this street. Um, all have left for very good reasons. Some downsizing, some relocating. Uh, one of my vendors has actually stayed on Kiln Avenue and downsize to a smaller property because they like it so much. Um, so it is a lovely street, although we have sold a few, just circumstances have pointed that way. The one we're in now, well, they all, they're all very similar footprint wise, um, but they've all kind of done different things to them. Uh, this one that we're in right now is beautifully presented throughout, really, really a turnkey property, nothing to do. Uh, downstairs, lovely big entrance hall, really high as well. It's like a dual high entrance hall, so quite grand um, and, and spacious and bright. Uh, they've got the downstairs kitchen uh, diner in this one. So that opens up into the garden, which is bathed in sunshine right now, actually. Uh, it gets the sun. Well, I'll show you when we go outside, but it gets the sun in the morning and the uh, evening in two different areas, which they've taken advantage of with two different patios. Real good move. Drive, garage, um, downstairs loo, four bedrooms, uh, one of which would make a really good office, actually, on that first floor. Um, again, I'll, I'll, I'll chat to you about that when we go around. Ultimately though, really, really nice property, really popular location, so act fast. Uh, I'll spin the camera around and I will catch up with you at the end. Speak soon. So we've got a nice composite door glazed here, super secure into this entrance hall. Stairs rising to the first floor, lovely full height there, two storey, really bright, and a side window as well. Uh, some real big storage actually. So this is under the stairs. It's a huge storage cupboard here, cloakroom. And then the downstairs loo, super important for the family. And again, lovely little suite. The garage actually access here as well as obviously the front door there um, and we've got uh, an external vent for the dryer and plumbing for the washing machine in there so it's something of a utility. And then at the back here, really impressive, big dining kitchen. Uh, the dishwasher's just hiding there, electric oven, gas hob, extractor space for a big American fridge freezer, big pantry cupboard as well. Uh, solid oak worktops, really nice, high gloss, bright white finish, um, lovely modern bright room. Uh, being on the ground floor as well, um, we've got the French door straight out into the super low maintenance garden. Um, and if you've got a dog, uh, the artificial lawn and the Indian stone patio, we've got no mud at all. So when the, the dogs come in, or the kids more importantly are coming in here, uh, your floor's nice and clean, so super low maintenance garden and nice and clean. And access, like I say, straight from this dining area. Uh, they've got a little round table there, but you could get a big old um, eight-seater on there if you wanted. Uh, straight out into the garden, um, so you know, on a nice day, um, we've got barbecues and whatnot. You can get straight out. The patio immediately outside here uh, gets the sun in the morning, uh, and then in the evening and into the afternoon, as you can see, it's starting to come round and gets that second patio area. So they've really taken advantage of where the uh, where the sun comes. And we're on the first floor landing. And that's what I mentioned at the start, really high ceiling down to the landing. You know, the owners of these properties make them really nice for me. And then I come along and stick my shoes there. So apologies to the owner. So yeah, there you go. There's the, uh, the entrance hall and onto this first floor landing. Steps there rising up to the second floor three bedrooms up there in the bathroom. And then to the rear, the full width of the house, similar sort of size to the kitchen, is a nice big lounge overlooking that back garden. So they've got what they've got then, that's a three seater, a two seater, a couple of big chairs, understairs storage, so a real good size room, this one. 
Nice column radiators as well, actually. Nice touch, those. And then the other room is another big double bedroom. To this first floor. So a big proper double. This would actually make a really, really big, nice home office. Um, and it's away from the noisy dining kitchen downstairs and the bedrooms upstairs. So I have seen these utilised as, uh, as offices. Um, in fact, the one just across the road there that we've sold has got that, uh, that window that we're in now um, as the office. Okay, so we're on the top floor now and you can see right the way down to uh, the ground floor front door. So lovely bright landings on all, floor, on all floors. Uh, this floor we've got a traditional layout with three bedrooms. A double to the rear here, plenty of room for the wardrobe, desk and a bookcase they've got in here, so a proper double. Also to the rear a proper single, and I say proper because quite often you can't fit a single bed in these. Uh, same aspect as that first room, really nice view over the back garden. And then it's uh, lovely out back there. Uh, and then halfway between the front and the rear we've got the house bathroom. Again, immaculate, really nice, chrome radiator, loo, part tile to the walls, nice big vanity wash basin so you can get a couple of kids brushing their teeth at the same time there, and the bath. And then the master is really big actually, take a look at the dimensions on the floor plan. They've got a, that's bigger than a king is that, um, not sure what's bigger than a king, super king maybe? Uh, front facing window and then this cupboard here has got the hot water tank in it. And then these are the fitted wardrobes. And then from here, we've got the shower in the utility, uh, utility in the uh, ensuite. Uh, so loo, towel radiator, privacy glass window, another vanity wash basin, and a nice big shower enclosure there. Okay, so there we have it. Um, I mentioned at the start, it's immaculate. You've seen that now, there's nothing to do. The current owners have really added some nice touches to it, made it really unique. Uh, that garden, super low maintenance with the uh, AstroTurf um, artificial lawn raised patio, really, really nice area. Um, and the, the spacious accommodation inside, the square footage on these is really, really good actually. It's one of the uh, more affordable big properties in Murfield, still in that nice area. Nice community spirit as well, I didn't mention that, but every time I've come here to do viewings, people have chatted to me, neighbours, etc. So it is a really nice feel on here. It's, it's a nice, warm, friendly feeling on this particular street, which is lovely. Um, as usual, give us a call if you want to take a look. Um, I, I keep mentioning it, but they, they have gone pretty fast on here, so act quick if you see in this video ring up we'll sort of viewing out for you and uh, hopefully we'll speak to you very soon thank you